Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am really glad that you're here with me today. We are going to head back into the Goodwill that is closest to my home. Now this Goodwill, in the past few videos of mine, you have seen the prices get higher and higher. I thought I would go back and just see what's going on in that Goodwill and hopefully see some lower prices today. I like this first piece. I thought it was really great for the holiday season. The images were raised on this mug and it was just a cute little thing. Look at that little dog. Now, it was only $2.99, but the really cool thing is the last owner was using this for a little planter. So, what a great idea. And this little Corningware bowl. It did not have the images that you see on Corningware. It was just plain white. It had its lid, so that was a good buy, especially if you really like to use Corningware. Now this box was interesting. I thought it might have been, you know, one of those big grab bag boxes. Inside, it had just a few pieces of this reindeer that you would put together for the holiday season. It had a little wreath inside of it. The most interesting part to me was the little frogs that were inside the bottom. I thought they were really cute. They were from Japan and there were several little different frogs, maybe all in a frog family, who knows. But I did not want to pay $10 for the entire contents of this box so I did leave this piece behind. Next up, I found these two Federal Glass mixing bowls. They were priced $5.99 for two bowls, which is not a bad price. And they were in really good condition. I then saw this absolutely beautiful vase made by Linux. It was $7.99 and it had that gold around the rim. I think the price is way too high for this. I would not get much of a profit if I tried to sell this piece in my booth. This piece, I think my grandmother had this, something like this in her house. And it was $2.99, but this one was in poor condition, but I really would love to have had something like that. Do you see what I see? The Franciscan Desert Rose Pitcher. This is an absolutely gorgeous pitcher. I did not see any crazing. And I did not show you, but it had a terrible chip on the spout. So I left this one behind. Aren't these the perfect little swizzle sticks? 
they would be great for a holiday party. And you can't beat 99 cents as the price. I came across this box full of these gorgeous teacups and there were also some stems in there. The teacups did not have any saucers to match and I really didn't need the stems. They were three dollars, the cups were two dollars each. They were all just stuffed in a box together. You know, I thought this box of paper would have been great for any crafter out there. It was only $2.99 and it looked to be full. I found this little Santa mug and it had lost all of its paint as you can see on the handle. But there was something about this one that I just really liked. Now check this little mug out. If you are a Jack Russell fan, this mug is for you. Okay, this is where my mind was blown. $3.99 for one saucer. I could not believe it. And this was a lovely little dish, $1.99. It had a beautiful image on it. These were adorable little cups. Unfortunately, they were $3.99 each. I've seen this Christmas pattern more than once. This was a lovely little sugar dish. $4.99. I love this bell. It's made in Italy. It had a terrible break on the handle and it had been repaired. I saw these two milk glass looking dishes and I'm not exactly sure who they were made by. If you know, let me know something down in the comments. So many people collect this type of plaid thermos for Christmas, for their Christmas decor. And at $2.99, this was actually a great buy. The first thing that I would like to share with you are these swizzle sticks. 
I picked these up for 99 cents at Goodwill and they were originally from Pier 1 Imports. I don't know their original price, but they were definitely more than 99 cents. Now these would be great for any type of holiday festivities, parties that you would have. The next thing I picked up was this Santa Claus mug. Now the Santa Claus mug had originally been painted and as you can see all the paint has worn off except for a little bit on the handle. I like his look. Do you like his look? Do you think I need to sell him or should I keep him for my personal collection? Would you buy this Santa Claus if he did not have any paint? Let me know your thoughts about this guy in the comments below. Any Jack Russell dog lovers out there will need this mug. Look how adorable this mug is and I cannot leave it there, you know, I'm a dog lover myself. So I am gonna place this mug in my booth and I bought it for $1.99, which is a little pricey. So I'm going to try to sell this for at least six, seven, or eight dollars. I couldn't leave this plaid thermos behind. So many people use these thermoses in their holiday decor, and it was only $2.99. It has a few little dings and dents, but that only gives it character, and I know it will be scooped up in my booth during the Christmas season. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment below. Make sure you like this video, and if you're interested in this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.